you know, SB19. And like you said, like, because it is a performance, so, like, you would think they're all using different mics, you know? So you mm -hmm. would think the volume would be off, but no, they sound like they lip singing, bro. Like it sounds like yeah, a song. You know what right? yeah. Like nobody's yeah. too high, too low. They just perfect, bro. It's like so weird, yo. Thank you for joining us on my catalog. Today is a special day because we got SB19. Yes, SB19 back in the building. And today they're going to be performing Mana at the Wish 107.5 bus. We've been excited to listen to the song because we heard like a glimpse of it at the awards uh, when they rocked the stage out there and killed it. So, yeah, we've been looking forward to this. So let's get into it. Without further ado. Okay, so, so that's where it's from. I thought we already did this. Yeah, this and Benzinga that we heard in there, we was like, yo, we that's gotta check that out. Okay, yeah. Yeah. So no music video. No, not for this one. They had a lyric video that somebody else made. They didn't make. Oh, we need definitely need that. Yeah, captions. Yeah. Look out for these people. They got fans for real. Mm -hmm. They're in Asia. Wish 1075. Hey, <laughs> What do we do, y'all? Subtitles are no subtitles. Yeah, it's literally <laughs> just say like music. What do we do, y'all? Like, well, if anything, we just judge it by the the cadence, like we cadence did and time. the sound. Yeah, yeah. Well, how, how, how they sound I like the it. sound. I wish I yeah. knew. It the does. Words, it does bro. sound good. It does sound really good. Yeah, he came in God. deep. Yo, Ken is murdering it right off the rip too, y'all. Killing it. Wish 107.5 <laughs> Y'all ready? Check. 
Cadence is like phenomenal, bro. I love what they do together, man. They fit perfect as a group, you know. And yeah. yo, I, I first, man, I I thought Ken was taking over this because he came I in, think he, he was. brought that bass. I think so too, yeah. Yo, but what's what's crazy is like they all had their little parts. Like Stell was murdering, Justin was killing it. You know what I mean? And then like even Josh went in there and murdered it. Pablo, of course, always doing his thing. But yo, I love when they all were singing at the same time. <laughs> But I felt like Ken, like bass, was carrying that whole section right there. Like, oh, bro, like, yo, what? The dude was like, he was murdering this. Yeah. They all were. Yeah, I thought it was, it was good. I thought that cadence is really good. I thought they did a great job, man. You know, it's crazy. I pride myself sometimes in knowing a little bit of, uh, just, just a little bit of Tagalog. And I couldn't catch nothing, bro. The only thing I caught was like, you see how I am now, or you understand what I'm saying? That's the only thing I understand. Everything else, I'm just like, I don't think yeah. I ever heard it before, or I couldn't get one, nothing, not a fucking sentence. It's, 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 what about mana? Yeah. You guys got that one? I have one? no clue what that is. Yeah. Like I said, the only thing I got is like, something you can't understand me or you can't understand what i'm saying or look at me now or look what i'm doing that's all i got everything else i did not know what they were saying yeah i caught things here and there certain sentences that were saying like when they were like uh well uh problema right like without any problems yeah without no like, problem yeah i got that yeah yeah without any problem like like when they were saying things like that i could understand like what they were saying but it's like there's certain words that i know what it is and then like i have to like piece it together so it's yeah. like some things I don't understand with the dialect or what they're saying it in, but I'll catch a worder here and I can put the sentence together like what they're trying to say. Yeah, right? I couldn't do it in this one. Yeah, yeah, I was able to do it a little bit, but uh, then it got crazy because then they started speeding up. Yeah. Then I couldn't catch anything. Then I was like, whoa, hold on. But like the singing was what like was throwing me off too because the notes throwing me off because then I'm like, whoa, like what the heck? Like, like Stell just brought it up to another octave. Then you got freaking Ken over here doing his deep like bass. Yo, Even when he wasn't doing that part, he was doing in the background. You could hear him. Right? Right. They were doing like a lot of ad lib parts in, uh, behind each other, which was, which sounded dope. Like yeah. like sonically, this sounded like crazy. Man, I couldn't get nothing. Like remarkable saying. Like usually, sometimes I would piece up like some words. I'm like, oh, that makes sense. I'll put it there. But man, like I'm just smart. It's so bad right now. I don't. Yeah. I couldn't get any of it. Yeah, I think like, it's it's the way that they were singing and the way that they're performing. Yeah, yeah, I think it was just too much. Like, cause even if this was in English, I think there was this would have been hard. For sure, if it was in English. But at least we'll understand the song a little bit. I didn't understand what the song was about at all. <laughs> and the captions wasn't helping, obviously. They gave no. us problem. That's it. <laughs> problem. But it sound did. good. It sound really good. Yeah. You know, like sonically, like it was absolutely fantastic because it changes so much, bro. Like, and I love how they put that like beat that changes and just the beat playing you know what i mean that shit was rocking bro like yo they do a really good job together bro you said uh like, the redhead is ken oh yeah yeah that's ken yeah. philippe yeah, yeah. Oh, okay that's with the deep voice yeah, yeah. Yo, ken. crazy yo that you got you got ken to the left justin stell in the back murdering yo he had those high notes <laughs> Stop! 
gonna murder that shit. I I really like like Stell, Justin, and uh, Ken on this one a lot. You know what I mean? Actually, Josh, now nah, they're all. You know what, man? I take that back, yo. They all murdered it, bro. Yeah, they all. This all one, yeah, yeah. This one, they <laughs> yeah, all signed yeah. up. Yeah, they did, yo. They had all. All of them had their parts in there, and then they went together, murdered that as well. Yeah, they killed this, yo. Yeah, they, yeah this was a fire song. I wish it was like um, it was an English subtitle, so we can understand what the song was about. Because I have no clue what the song was about, but it sounds like I, like King Bro saying it sounds phenomenal. I think all of them did really good. Most most of the time, one person usually shines. But yeah, they, I agree with you. They all killed it, yo. Yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, at first, I'm telling you, I went through it like it was Ken at first. I'm like, oh, Ken is fun. like, what? He's going to be the main guy in this one. And then Justin takes off. And then Stell takes off. And then Pablo takes off. And then takes off. It's just crazy, bro. Like, they're so talented, but like, they work well. Because sometimes you might have five talented dudes in there, but like, they uh, styles might not match with each other. Their yeah, styles yeah. are perfect for each other. You know what I mean? So, yeah, they make a break. Yeah, them. they're in sync, right? So the, the cool thing is they feed off of each other really well. So like even when when Ken was doing this thing and then like when it was Pablo's turn to jump in, they all knew each other's cues really well. Yeah, and they, really they complimented. Well. So nobody was like, like, you have somebody in the background that's doing it and it's like overwhelming what the other person's doing, right? At that time. But all of it fit perfectly. Like it didn't take away from what Pablo was doing at any time when Ken was yeah. doing that in the background. Same thing when, when Josh started doing his part, they were doing stuff in the background. They, I, they even had them doing like uh, the chorus together. All the parts, like it didn't outshine anybody. Like it was like this person's turn now to do their part and it, all of them delivered. And like same thing, like I thought Ken killed it in the beginning. I'm like, dang, how are they gonna follow up on that? Right, yeah. and then they did. Right, they kept doing it. Like Pablo came in, I'm like, okay, well, I mean, I expect that with Pablo. I mean, Pablo's been killing it like like crazy. Yeah. And then I'm like, all right, so what are the rest of these guys? And then Josh came in, I'm like, whoa, hold on, okay. And then yeah. I'm like, whoa, hold on, it's just it was just jumping back and forth from all of them, and they they all held their own. Like this yeah. would be a good introduction if you never heard these guys to see all of their talents individually, even though Sonically, we didn't understand sure. it. Yeah. yeah, they you could see like all of them play a good part in in like making you know SB19. And like you said, like because it is a performance, so like you would think they're all using different mics, you know. So you mm -hmm. would think the volume would be off, but no, they sound like they lip singing, bro. Like it sounds like yeah. a song. You it know does, what I mean? yeah. Like nobody's too high, too low. They just perfect, bro. It's like so weird, yo. It's so weird how they perform in this. Unless Wish 107.5 has been, you know, uh, lip singing all of these performances, but yeah. like it's fucking crazy. Like, like this is live, bro. Like the sound is studio quality, yo. Studio quality. Yeah, it's gotta be live because they're not they're not doing takes over takes of like all these fans in the background too. Yeah, I know. Unless, unless, crazy, unless right? they don't, unless they don't care, they just like who cares? Dude, take as much takes as you want. <laughs> yeah. Yo, Josh got the uh, got the DMX chain on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see that? Uh, Pitbull collar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, they so raw with their style too. Like, like you know, like fashion. You know, they fashion, they style of music. Like everything is like they're very rare, bro. Like, like because when I listened to Freedom, man, I thought like we was going into like a you know boy band. band. Yeah, like super like pop. You know what I yeah. mean? But like mm -hmm. the rabbit hole we've been in with with SB19, they, they can do it all, bro. Like they got all the styles. You know what I mean? They make all types of music. Was and, Freedom our yeah. first uh, induction? Yeah, because you, you know what it is? It's like we went from Freedom to Mopper. And you know Mopper. Like when we heard Mopper, we was like, what the hell? Who who are these guys? Like They don't sound nothing like, nothing Freedom, like yo. Freedom, yo. Like it was like a whole different world, different genre, different music, bro. Stand Gentle. I think to me, that's one of my favorite songs right now. Well, back back on this real quick. So, uh, the thing that I really like starting to realize, like, what sets these guys kind of apart than like just a regular boy band, is that like usually boy bands, they're like the generic, right? They do like the same kind of like they all kind of almost sound the same. It's like almost like one person, right? They're yeah. all singing the same type of thing, like you know, like a Backstreet Boys, or they, they all sound like the same. Nobody's standing out like different, right? With them, they're a little more like a band. They're all playing like different instruments. Like Ken is his own freaking instrument. He's playing yeah. bass over there. Yeah, right? 100%. Right? They all have different styles and like different things. Like like even when we've been uh, diving into their solo stuff, they're completely different types of music when they do their solo stuff because them the, as an individual artist is completely different. But then when they come together, it's like you got all these different styles mixed in together. That's what you're getting. So it's not like it doesn't sound like a typical boy band.
But I don't feel like they're even a boy band. Like, I just feel like like they're their own group. They got their own style. And, yo, because Crimson and, and Mappa is completely different worlds. Liham and Gento, completely different worlds. You know what I'm saying? Mana is somewhere in between Gento and uh, Liham. You know what I mean? Like, so, somewhere in between. But it's crazy. I love their styles because, like, even their EP, we went through all the different songs. The Freedom was on the same one that uh, Liham was on. Crimson, Gento, and all those, and all of them were different, bro. Yeah, and they only had six songs in that EP, and all of them were different. It's crazy. Yeah, they have like R and B songs, they have pop songs right, that are like just like straight up like poppy, right? That, that are just meant for the radio. Then they have these R and B songs where they like literally like have some substance, and they're like actually singing a little bit deeper. Then they even throw in like rap and stuff like that every yeah. once in a while, right? Yeah. And then all the different types of styles, like yeah, they, these guys have like showed us like they're not a one trick pony type of you know group 100 percent. so now yeah. we've heard josh pablo and ken aka philippe all of them rap you know i don't think i've heard stell rap yet and i don't think i've heard justin rap yet or any solo songs of either one of them yeah but yeah obviously like vocally him and justin like they really like whew, they be taking it there but then yeah. again when when you look around the table Everybody else does the same. Thank you for joining us on my catalog. We just got done watching the SB19 perform Mana at the Wish 107.5 bus. And it was amazing. We wish we had captions. That would have been nice. But the sound was incredible. So shout out to SB19. We gave you our thoughts. You give us your thoughts down on the comment section. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, tell everybody about my catalog. Until next time. Peace. Peace.